Today is day one of our Empower Puerto Rico project, and we are here to place 46 systems with families in need that have been able to be donated thanks to your purchases. Over the next several days, we'll be placing over $100,000 worth of products in people's homes. So let's get started. This is Kia. She's the founder of um, Angels Wings Foundation here in Puerto Rico, and she's been helping us from the start since we've been here on the island. So since Hurricane Maria, uh, you've been doing a lot of work here on the island. When it first since, happened, mm -hmm. t walk me through it. It was roof blow up, windows blow up, car twisted, um, horses split in half, um, a horror movie. When I got to San Juan, where my family is, the first thing I saw was a family without clothes, without shoes. The house was gone. And I remember I told him, I will get you the shoes. And I came back with the shoes. So I've been since the third day until today, helping all these people. We've got six different cities that we're gonna be distributing these Kodiak systems to. We'll be going to the mountains above those cities, oftentimes the very tops of the mountains to distribute these systems to people that they do have power, but it's not reliable at all. Um, a couple of them don't have power, but most of them have it restored. It's just very, very infrequent, and, uh, and they have a lot of needs, so we're going to get up there and, and uh, see what we've got. So we've arrived at our first, at our first recipient's home, and we'll be walking up here to meet the family and, uh, and donate a kit. Come along. His mom, I'm, I'm she's George. Inside. George. He's George. George says with the kid. Yeah, he's oh, the, he's oh they moved him to the hospital because they didn't have no power. Yeah. And wow. he's connected to many machines. Yeah. So it needs, needs the power to survive, really. Yeah. They actually had to move to this home when the power went out. And they had uh, two children, and one of them, um, unfortunately, passed away um, from the medical equipment that they had. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, if I plug this in, see how that went up? Okay. That's how much power is being drawn. Um, there's 1,100 um, watt hours of energy stored. That way you can tell how much you're using. It could even run your microwave. <laughs> And we're going to be um, assembling this whole system for them and hopefully provide them some more power um, because the, the power here is very, very insecure. They have power now, um, but it comes and goes and it can be gone for a week. And uh, in the event of a power outage here, um, the medical equipment that is uh, sustaining their son's life um, goes without electricity and, um, and it can obviously be fatal you know, for some, some people. So um, we're here to just kind of deliver the, the system, get it all set up. met a lot of people here in this area that have medical conditions um, and they rely on power to to power their medical devices things like oxygen concentrators feeding tubes um, breathing therapy treatments uh, all these kinds of things when the power goes out these people will, will literally die if they don't have power so the mission while we're here is to go to these people that are in that are in need and uh, provide them with power and get them some sort of stability in such a crazy time. Um, power outages here range from every couple days, every time the wind blows, um, to sometimes it's weeks between power outages, but when it lasts, it could be two hours, it could be two days. Uh, there's really no way to know. It's been very humbling and it's been very eye-opening as we've spoken with people 
to hear how just after the hurricane, there were many people in a race against time when their breathing machines or when their medical devices went out in these mountain towns. They were in a race against time to get to the hospital, only to find that the hospital didn't have power either. So um, providing them with power at their residence is, uh, is going to be something that changes their lives, and, uh, and it certainly changed mine so far. electric vehicle batteries um, in small compact little packages that can power refrigeration, lights, cooling fans, recharge cell phones. We've met people that rely on power for their life. The energy situation is not a comfort uh, matter, it's a health matter, yeah, life and death. We totally believe, in, in fact our, uh, our tagline is uh, power for life. It means something different in Puerto Rico. We appreciate so. all your help. Great. God bless. There are dozens of people from the company that I work with who've been working very, very hard for the last couple of years to make this possible. And there are many people back um, in my company that, that they've never met you, but they love you and they want to help. That wraps up our Empower Puerto Rico program. We've met dozens of families so far down here in Puerto Rico and it's been a very humbling experience and we couldn't have done it without you. In fact, we're excited to announce that from here forward the Empower program is going to be part of our business and definitely is an ongoing effort. We're excited to offer this opportunity to the world and we can't wait to see the lives that will change. Thank you for your help.